practice exercise for fundamentals of numbers and set theory question 5 a number is formed by writing any digit 6 times say 444 four, four, 999 okay. it is always divisible by which of these now typically for such question start with the smallest possible case because any number which satisfies the smallest possible case will will satisfy the bigger cases as well. If it also it should be visible that 888 888 is nothing but 8 into 111111. So if you can find the solution for triple one uh, six times one, you should get the solution for each of them. Let's check the choices. Now in the worst case, all you should be doing is start checking the choices. But if you have some comfort with numbers, you will be able to get the answer faster. Okay. Now straight away it should be visible that 111 will be divisible by 11. So 11 should definitely be a part of my answer. Okay. So this is definitely divisible by 11. Check out whether it is divisible by 7 or 13 or 9. You can always divide 111111 and check for 7. Okay. So 7 ones are 7, 41, 7 fives are 35. You are left with 61, 7 8s are 56. So we are left with 51 again. So 7 7s are 49. 21, 7 3s are 21. So it is divisible by 7 also. So my answer has to be all of these. I actually don't need to check the others because if it is dividing two of them, my answer can only be all of these. Also, what I would want you to remember is this relation 7 into 11 into 13 is equal to 1001. Please remember that this is an extremely important number 7 into 11 into 13 3 prime numbers the product is 1001. So in such a question even if you have to check you should not be checking for all you should be checking just for 1001 because if it is divisible by 1001 it will be divisible by 7, 13 as well as 11. And you'll find it is divisible by 1001. So 1001 divisibility means it is divisible by 7, 13 as well as 11. Okay. So please work with the choices. Along with the choices, if you start working, you'll be able to get the answers faster.